Hi and welcome to this video. I am Anis, a GMAT expert. I created this channel to help you ace the GMAT in the easiest way possible. In this channel, you will find strategies that are never shown elsewhere. These powerful strategies will help you solve difficult problems very quickly. I invite you to stay tuned till the end of this video. There is a special gift waiting for you. Of the 60 animals on a certain farm, two-thirds are either pigs or cows. How many of the animals are cows? Okay, so let's see the first sentence. Of the 60 animals on a certain farm, two-thirds are either pigs or cows. So pigs, I'm gonna call it P, and cows, C. Okay, he's telling me that two-thirds of the animals are either pigs or cows. So let's first calculate the two-third of 60 so two-third times 60 so 2 times 60 is 120 divided by 3 so 120 divided by 3 is 40 so the number of pigs plus the number of cows is equal to 40 because the number of pigs plus the number of cows is equal to two-third of the 60 animals so two-third of 60 is 40 so I can say that P plus C is equal to 40 okay how many animal how many of the animals are cows so my aim is to compute the number of cows okay so let's examine now the first statement the farm has more than twice as many cows as pigs so uh, cows is greater than two times the pigs okay uh, so we have now a system of one equation and one uh, inequality uh, I will try to see if I can do uh, anything with, with this system so uh, let's say here I'm gonna take this one I'm, I'm gonna add P from either sides, sides so it's C plus P greater than 2P plus P so I took this inequality here and I added plus P and plus P from both sides so I have C plus P is equal to 2 P plus P okay so C plus P I know that it's equal to 40 so I can replace it by 40 is greater than 3 P okay so I know now that uh, 3 P is uh, less than 40 okay so P is less than 40 divided by 3 okay so 40 divided by 3 if I can do it quickly so it's gonna be uh, 1 times 3 is 3 4 minus 3 is 1 I put the 0 here so here 3 3 times 3 is 9 then I have 1 then I put a comma and then 0 and then 3 so 40 divided by 3 it's approximately 13.3 okay so I know here that P is less than 13.3 so this is uh, this is my conclusion uh, of the first uh, statement so P is less than 13.3 so P could be equal to 13 in this case the number of cows is equal to using this equation uh, is equal to uh, to 27 uh, C, uh, P uh, could equal could be equal to 12 and C could be equal to 28 so now I already have two examples uh, each one is giving me a different number of cows so the first statement is not sufficient um, in order to uh, calculate compute the number of cows okay so let me examine the second statement so here we have P plus C is equal to 40 I, I don't forget this so I have to examine the uh, second uh, the second statement the farm has more than 12 pigs so P is greater than 12 so P could be equal to 13 in this case C is equal to 27 I use this equation and P could be equal to 14 and uh, then in this case C is equal to um, to 26 okay so now here also I have two examples uh, cow number of cows is equal to 27 number of cows is equal to 26 
So uh, this uh, statement is not sufficient to determine the number of cows in uh, this farm. So now I will combine uh, both statements together. So P plus C is equal to 40. The first one, uh, if you remember the conclusion, it was P less than 13.3. And now I have P is less than 12. Okay, I know that P is an integer. Okay, so and here we have two, two, two conditions. P is less than 13.3 and P is greater than 12. So automatically I can know that P is equal to 13. There is no uh, other solution. So P is equal to 13. I replace it here and number of cows is equal to 27 in this case. So uh, when I combine both uh, statements, uh, I can determine the number of cows exactly, uh, which is 27. So when combining the both, uh, so the first statement is alone not sufficient, the second statement is alone not sufficient, and uh, both uh, are sufficient, uh, both together are sufficient. So the answer to this question is C. Ho hope this explanation is clear. Thank you for watching this video. In order to help you ace the GMAT, I decided to offer you for free my ultimate GMAT probability course. You can find this course in the description of this video. Probability is one of the most important parts of the GMAT quant section. This part is very difficult and many students struggle with it. In this course, I will give you the best strategy to tackle any probability question and I will show you how to apply this strategy to more than 40 different practice questions. Once you finish this course, you'll be able to solve any probability question that encounters you in the GMAT. First, I will introduce you to combinations, arrangements and permutations. Then we'll solve together more than 40 GMAT questions of different level of difficulty and I will show you step by step how to solve them in the simplest way possible. Once you master the methods I teach in this course, you'll be able, starting of tonight, to not only solve any GMAT probability problem, but also to solve them quickly and this will help you save a lot of time during the test. Click on the link in the description to get this unique free course.